Our story begins with a man named Kenneth Jones, a name that would soon send shivers down the spine of the inhabitants of Bonneville County. Kenneth Jones, a seemingly ordinary man, leading what most would consider a normal life. Born and raised in the heart of Bonneville County, Kenneth was known as a quiet, unassuming figure in his community. On the surface he appeared to be just like anyone else. He was a hard worker, often seen laboring tirelessly at his job, and was known to be a man of few words. His life wasn't marked by grand achievements or extraordinary feats, instead it was characterized by routine and simplicity. He lived in a modest home, worked a regular job, and kept to himself. There was nothing that suggested he was anything but ordinary. Yet beneath this facade of normalcy, a different story was brewing. A story that would shatter the mundane routine of Kenneth's life and leave an indelible mark on the history of Bonneville County. Few could have predicted the shocking turn of events that would unmask the true nature of this seemingly ordinary man. The calm, quiet demeanor that Kenneth exhibited was not a reflection of his inner world. Behind closed doors his life was far from ordinary. His actions, hidden from the public eye, were a stark contrast to the image he portrayed. Kenneth Jones was not just an average man living a simple life, he was a man harboring dark secrets, secrets that would soon come to light, unraveling the truth about his life and the life he took away. As the details of his life began to unfold, the people of Bonneville County were left in shock and disbelief. The man they thought they knew was far from the person he truly was. The image of the quiet, hard-working Kenneth was shattered, replaced with a chilling reality that was hard to comprehend. Little did anyone know this seemingly ordinary man harbored a darker side, a side that would soon thrust him into the limelight for all the wrong reasons. The tranquility of Bonneville County was shattered when a horrifying crime was discovered. This quiet corner of Idaho, known for its peaceful neighborhoods and close-knit community, was abruptly thrust into a chilling narrative of life and death. The name Stephanie Eldridge, a local resident, became synonymous with a crime that sent shockwaves through the county. Stephanie's untimely demise was a blow to the heart of the community. The news spread like wildfire, leaving a trail of disbelief and sorrow in its wake. A life extinguished too soon, a young woman taken away from her loved ones in the most tragic of circumstances. The community was left grappling with the pain of loss and the gnawing fear that a killer was among them. In the midst of this turmoil, a name emerged from the shadows, Kenneth Jones, a local man, known by many, now a person of interest in this heinous act. The revelation was a jolt to the collective conscience of Bonneville County. How could a fellow resident, a person they crossed paths with, possibly be linked to such a gruesome act. It was a grim twist in the tale, the ordinary transformed into the extraordinary. The everyday man Kenneth Jones was now under the microscope, his every move scrutinized. The community watched aghast as one of their own was thrust into the heart of a murder investigation. Questions swirled, rumors abounded and fear took hold. Each day brought a new piece to the puzzle, a new angle to consider. The community found itself in the grip of a mystery that seemed to deepen with every passing moment. As the initial shock subsided, a burning question remained. Was Kenneth Jones, the man everyone thought they knew, capable of such an act? Could this seemingly ordinary man be responsible for a crime that shook the foundations of Bonneville County? Only time and the relentless pursuit of justice would tell. As investigators dug deeper, the evidence began to point in one direction. The labyrinth of the investigation was slowly untangled, revealing a trail that led to a single name, Kenneth Jones. Initial leads were scant, and the case seemed to be shrouded in mystery as Stephanie Eldridge's disappearance caused a ripple of dread throughout Bonneville County. However, as the diligent investigators sifted through the evidence, a series of inconsistencies began to emerge. The first clue was a series of phone calls between Jones and Eldridge on the night of her disappearance. This seemingly innocuous detail would later become a significant piece of the puzzle. Then came the breakthrough. Forensic evidence recovered from Eldridge's home pointed towards a struggle. In the midst of the chaos the investigators found a fingerprint, a unique signature left behind by the perpetrator. 
The print was a match to Jones, placing him at the scene of the crime. As the noose began to tighten, Jones's behavior raised suspicions. His repeated attempts to obstruct the investigation, coupled with his resistance towards law enforcement, painted a picture of a man with something to hide. However, it wasn't just the physical evidence that led investigators to Jones, it was also his past, a history marked with violence and a pattern of destructive behavior. This background information, when coupled with the evidence, created a compelling case against him. The culmination of the investigation was the discovery of Eldridge's remains. The location, known only to Jones, provided the final piece of the puzzle, solidifying his connection to the crime. The tireless efforts of the investigators paid off, as they pieced together the jigsaw of evidence, leading them to the doorstep of Kenneth Jones. His attempts to evade justice had been in vain. The evidence was damning, and soon Kenneth Jones found himself at the center of a criminal trial. In the courtroom, the true nature of Kenneth Jones came to light. The trial of Kenneth Jones was a spectacle that gripped the Bonneville County Courthouse. The prosecution and defense presented their cases, each side weaving a narrative from the threads of evidence collected throughout the investigation. The prosecution painted a picture of a man who had committed voluntary manslaughter. They argued that Jones, filled with a rage that night, took the life of Stephanie Eldridge. The evidence, the crime scene, the forensics, the testimonies, all pointed towards him. They highlighted his actions after the crime, the destruction of evidence, the obstruction, and his resistance when the officers came knocking. On the other hand, the defense team worked tirelessly to create a narrative of doubt. They questioned the integrity of the evidence and the methods of the investigation. They argued that Jones was a scapegoat, caught in the crosshairs of an investigation that was desperate for a resolution. They pointed out inconsistencies, gaps in the timeline, and the lack of a clear motive. The intensity of the trial was amplified by the emotional testimonies of those who knew Stephanie Eldridge. Their words painted a vivid portrait of a woman whose life was cut tragically short, a loss that echoed through the halls of the courthouse. Jones himself remained an enigma throughout the trial. His demeanor was stoic, his gaze steady. Whether it was a mask of innocence or the face of guilt was something that remained to be seen. The arguments from both sides were compelling, the evidence substantial, and the testimonies powerful. As the trial concluded, the jury was left with the task of sifting through the layers of narratives, evidence, and testimonies to uncover the truth. The stakes were high, a man's guilt or innocence hung in the balance. As the trial concluded, all awaited the final verdict with bated breath. The day of reckoning had arrived. The courthouse bristled with anticipation as the final verdict was to be delivered. The air was thick with suspense as each tick of the clock echoed through the hushed courtroom. It was the 21st of January, 2021, a day that would etch itself into the annals of Bonneville County's history. Kenneth Jones, the man in the eye of this storm, stood accused of the voluntary manslaughter of Stephanie Eldridge. The jury, after painstaking deliberation, found him guilty. The gavel fell, and with it, the hopes of a man who had crossed the line of humanity. The sentencing was unflinching. Jones was handed a fixed term of nine years in prison for his heinous act, with an additional indeterminate period of six years looming over his future. But the justice system was not done with him yet. The judge, looking sternly at Jones, added another five years for the destruction of evidence. An extra year was tacked on for obstruction, these sentences to be served consecutively with his manslaughter sentence. A final year was added for resisting or obstructing officers, bringing the total unified sentence to anywhere between 10 and 21 years. The courtroom erupted in a cacophony of reactions. Some breathed sighs of relief, others were lost in the shock of the moment. Outside, the community of Bonneville County was buzzing with the news, People were gripped by a mix of emotions, relief, sorrow, shock, and a grim satisfaction that justice had been served. As the reality of the sentence sank in, Kenneth Jones was led away. His fate was sealed. He would not be eligible for parole until 2033, a daunting prospect for any man. 
the ordinary resident of Bonneville County, his life was now irrevocably tarnished by the shadow of his crime. Kenneth Jones, once an ordinary resident of Bonneville County, now faced a future defined by his heinous act. A chilling reminder of the darkness that can lurk beneath the surface.